The senior advisor to President-elect Donald Trump said that the new administration will focus on achieving peace in Ukraine, and not on giving Ukraine the opportunity to return the territories occupied by Russia. Brian Lanza, the strategist of the Republican Party, told the BBC that the Trump administration will ask the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, to present his version of the realistic vision of the world. And if President Zelensky sits down at the negotiating table and says that we can have peace only if we have Crimea, he will show us that he is not serious, he said. The president-elect constantly declares that his priority is ending the war and stopping what he describes as the leakage of U.S. resources in the form of military aid to Ukraine. Mr. Lanza, Trump's political adviser since his 2016 election campaign, said that the return of Crimea is unrealistic and not the goal of the United States. When Zelensky says that we will end these hostilities, that peace will come only after the return of Crimea, we have news for President Zelensky, there is no more Crimea, he said in the BBC World Service weekend program. And if the return of Crimea is a priority for you, and American soldiers must fight for the return of Crimea, then you are on your own. The USA has never sent American soldiers to fight in Ukraine, and Kiev has not asked American troops to fight on its behalf. Ukraine requested American military aid only to arm its soldiers. Opponents of Trump from the Democratic Party accuse him of rapprochement with the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, and say that his approach to war is tantamount to the surrender of Ukraine, which will threaten the whole of Europe. One person died and 13 people were wounded by a Russian drone in a residential area in the Ukrainian port city of Odessa overnight, local officials said Saturday, as EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell arrived in Kiev to discuss European support for Ukraine. Odessa Regional Governor Ola Kuyper said high-rise residential buildings, private houses and warehouses were damaged by the fall of a drone. He did not specify whether the drone had been shot down by air defenses. A further 32 Russian drones were shot down over 10 Ukrainian regions, while 18 were lost, according to Ukraine's air force, likely having been electronically jammed. A Russian aerial bomb struck a busy highway overnight in the northeastern Kharkiv province, Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Terekhov said. No casualties were reported. Russia is mounting an intensified aerial campaign that Ukrainian officials say they need more Western help to counter. However, doubts are deepening over what Kyiv can expect from a new U.S. administration. President-elect Donald Trump has repeatedly taken issue with U.S. aid to Ukraine, made vague vows to end the war and has praised Russian President Vladimir Putin. Burrell, however, reassured Ukraine of European support as he arrived in Kyiv on Saturday. EU support to Ukraine has been my personal priority during my mandate and will remain on top of the EU's agenda, he wrote on X. In Russia, the defense ministry said 50 Ukrainian drones were destroyed over seven Russian regions, more than half over the Bryansk region, bordering Ukraine. Ми спали собі спокійно, проснулися від того, що був від звуку битого скла. Вона все попадала, ми з дитиною злякалися. Муж чоловік побіг, побіг на вулицю. Думали, що так трошки, але потім почався пожар.
Russia is open to hearing President-elect Donald Trump's proposals on ending the war, an official said. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said Moscow and Washington were exchanging signals on Ukraine via closed channels. He did not specify whether the communication was with the current administration or Trump and members of his incoming administration. Russia is ready to listen to Trump's proposals on Ukraine provided these were ideas on how to move forward in the area of settlement, and not in the area of further pumping the Kiev regime with all kinds of aid, Ryabkov said Saturday in an interview with Russian state news agency Interfax. A further 32 Russian drones were shot down over 10 Ukrainian regions, while 18 were lost, according to Ukraine's air force, likely having been electronically jammed. A Russian aerial bomb struck a busy highway overnight in the northeastern Kharkiv province, Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Terekhov said. No casualties were reported. Russia is mounting an intensified aerial campaign, prompting Ukrainian officials to ask for more Western help. However, doubts are deepening over what Kyiv can expect from a new U.S. administration. Trump has repeatedly taken issue with U.S. aid to Ukraine, made vague vows to end the war and has praised Russian President Vladimir Putin. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell, however, reassured Ukraine of European support during a visit to Kyiv on Saturday. EU support to Ukraine has been my personal priority during my mandate and will remain on top of the EU's agenda, he wrote on X. In Russia, the defense ministry said 50 Ukrainian drones were destroyed over seven Russian regions, more than half over the Bryansk region, bordering Ukraine. More footage has been released, showing a Ukrainian drone attack on a chemical plant in Russia's Tula region on the night leading to November 9. A source within the Ukrainian intelligence told local media that the facility in the city of Alexin was attacked by at least 13 drones, and as of 1.10 pm, an additional explosion and the burning of chemical substances were recorded as a result of previous strikes. The plant's operations were suspended and the personnel were evacuated. The sources reported that in addition to the chemical plant, the destruction of the Aleksinskia thermal power plant has also been confirmed. Namely, the 110 kV power line was damaged during the attack. An attack was launched near mechanical plant as well. Local authorities of Russia's Tula region stated that all Ukrainian UAVs were shot down during that attack, and that the debris from the drones damaged the glazing in one of the buildings. The enterprise that is owned by Rostex Corporation produces necessary materials, ammunition and gunpowder for the Russian military industrial complex. It should be noted that the chemical enterprise is a major producer of gunpowder in Russia.